fellow learners i'm dr karuna harkara sinha we are doing integrated learning and teaching in the previous session we did discuss about the meaning of integrated learning and teaching we had a look at some of the definitions of integrated learning and teaching after that we did discuss about the different areas of integrated learning and teaching wherein we had a look at the three broader areas of integrated learning and teaching one was integration within the subject one was integration between the subject and the third one was the integration beyond the subject we have seen different types of integration among these three broad areas of integration like interdisciplinary integration multidisciplinary integration intradisciplinary integration and transdisciplinary integration later we did discuss about the different comparisons which we made as far as the integration is concerned and we have seen the comparisons and contrast of the integration within the different areas which are there specified for integrated learning and teaching now let's explore and see some more content and the areas of integrated learning and teaching learners let's have a look at the planning which is required for integrated learning when we plan for integrated learning we need to be sure of combining or integrating different concepts related to a topic which ought to be taught by a teacher we don't think of the possibility of integration generally when we start with the class we go and we follow the order of the presentation of the concepts which have been prescribed in the context which have been prescribed in the textbooks also we hardly look at the possibility of integration within a subject now let's take an example and see how can we integrate different concepts into one subject for example while teaching living and non living beings in the subject of science in standard 4th there are so many other concepts which are related to the topic of living and non living beings for example differences between living and non living beings on the basis of reproduction movement food and metabolism we have some more concepts also such as ecological balance among different types of living beings depletion and conservation of natural resources related to the growth in population of living beings now let's see that so many concepts related to different subjects how can they be brought together and integrated in one topic or in one lesson that is living and non living beings but we hardly look at all these things while teaching and we teach all these concepts separately in separate subjects so we can observe that the learning objectives of one topic may have some sort of relation with those of another topic of the same subject and that was revealed to us when we had a look in the previous slide as far as how the different concepts in different subjects are related to one another similarly the learning objectives of all these concepts will have a relationship with each other if such related concepts could be regrouped the learners can have more holistic and meaningful learning of the issue or topic that is being discussed in the class so what is needed that if we can regroup all these concepts so we are helping the students to have a holistic view or to have a holistic perspective of one topic that means one topic can be looked at from different perspectives in one session only within one subject only to avoid repetition in learning and to make learning meaningful so it is always better then to link different competencies in the same subject in order to make learning process more meaningful for the students therefore learners while preparing the integrated plan within a subject following steps need to be considered we need to be very sure that we need to determine the distinctive nature of learning 
in each subject area. Further, we also need to be very sure of the competencies, the outcomes of learning in each topic under the specific subject area. What sort of learning objectives are we expecting from the students? What sort of learning outcomes are we expecting from the students? And that is definitely going to help us to integrate many concepts together. We need to identify knowledge and skills which is connected to the topic but which we are planning to teach. We need to plan learning experiences for the teaching of the topic which need to be connected closely to the real life experiences of the students as far as possible. I think that is the essence of integrated teaching which we have seen in the previous session also that every learning experience the teacher need to connect with the life experiences of the students because that is going to give them the real teaching experience and help them to acquire the knowledge and skills related to the new concepts based on their previous knowledge. They are going to explore it on their own. Learners, let's have a look at an example of how can we have an integration happening in the subject of EBS in class 2. The topic is village festival, integration of my family with my neighborhood. Now let's have a look at the competencies which the teacher would like to be developed among the students. Identifying the work of different family members, activities of the students to help the family. Now what sort of process need to be adopted while integrating the competencies as far as the subject of EVS is concerned? The teacher can ask the following questions. What do you see in the village festival? Who organizes the work over there? Do all the members of the village do same thing in the festival? State the name of the family members and what they do in the daytime. There are some more competencies which the teacher can identify to be developed among the students is the identifying the importance of the neighborhood, recognizing the different social institutions and how can she integrate and bring out the competencies among the students is that she can continue with the questioning pattern. Do they all do same or different work? If different, who does what? Describe the help you receive from outside your family. Describe group wise about the functions of different places and institutions. So the learners, through the questioning, you must have observed that all these kinds of questioning focuses on the kind of competencies the teacher has planned to be developed among the students. And yes, the integration of my family with my neighborhood can be brought out through these uh, questions and can be developed in appropriate integration can be developed as far as the students of EBS are concerned. Now let's have a look at integrating different subject areas. Now first we are definitely going to take up the multidisciplinary integration. In each class, each student is taught following separate and specific methods supposed to be appropriate to the nature of the subject. Every teacher whosoever teaches whichever subjects adopts particular teaching methodologies which she considers to be appropriate as far as the nature of her subject is concerned. Now for example, induction is typically used only in mathematics. Storytelling is used in history and nature observation is used in the subject of science and EBS. However, have we ever given it a thought that storytelling can also be used to make mathematics teaching more interesting for students in early grades. We need to link the topics of different subjects in a particular class for effective learning and to avoid repetition. In order to make teaching and learning process interesting for students and to make learning meaningful for students, we need to give it a thought that all the subjects 
can be integrated and a connection between the different subjects can be established in order to make the entire teaching and learning process meaningful for the students. Now let's have a look at some of the strategies of preparing integrated lessons. It's very important and essential for the teacher that she needs to know that what kind of strategies she can adopt while she's preparing to make her lesson an integrated one. First of all, she has to bring together topics, themes, issues or big ideas and learning outcomes from more than one subject area. That means the topics, the themes, the issues related to the different subject areas need to be combined together. Second is the knowledge and skills at times need to be connected to cross-cultural topics, themes and issues. That means that the knowledge and skills sometimes need to be connected to the various topics, to the various themes, to the various issues, looking at the cultural aspect of the different topics interview. Third is that the teacher need to determine the distinctive nature of learning in each subject area. What exactly the subject area of that particular subject is, the teacher need to be very sure and bring out that distinct nature of learning as far as her subject area is concerned. Unless and until the teacher is not sure of the distinctive nature of her subject, she will not be in a position to establish a connection of different subject areas to her subject because the topics of her subject need to be first very, very, very clear to her. Next is examine the possibilities of combining concepts from different subject areas through an integrated method of teaching. The teacher need to examine all the possibilities that how she can establish a connection as far as the different concepts in different subjects are concerned, how she can bring out those concepts into her subject area. But that again is uh, possible when she has the clear knowledge of the other subjects also. The students are guided to see linkages between subject areas. That is the next one that at every stage when the teacher is teaching, she needs to guide the students how to establish or how to see those linkages which she is trying to establish between the different concepts of different subjects. She needs to guide the students to see those linkages between the different subject areas. Now, let's have again a look at one of the examples of integration of concepts in language, EVS and mathematics. Initially, we did have a look at one example as far as EVS is concerned, but now we are having a look at the three subjects, how we can club three subjects together and how we can establish a link between different subjects and bring out the integration. The topic is the story of Aruni. Now first we are going to have a look at the kind of competencies which the teacher would like to develop in the subject of language. Reading the story with correct pronunciation, make question to get the answers, read the picture and describe the story and the process of integrating different subjects, what the teacher is going to do in order to establish or in order to develop these competencies as far as the subject of language is concerned. Make students sit in a circle and tell the story following appropriate storytelling method. Make small size groups of students for them to prepare questions and intergroup activities. All right, she can prepare small groups, she can prepare questions also, and she can divide the students into the groups, and then the students can explore the answers to the questions which the teacher has given in the bargain. What is happening? Integration is also happening, and the competencies which the teacher has planned for them are also being developed among the students. Now, the topic remains the same, the story of Aruni, and we are going to have a look at how the integration is possible as far as the subject of EVS is concerned. Describe about different season and specifically rainy season. Name the crops cultivated during rainy season. Name the instruments used for cultivation. 
These are the competencies which the teacher has planned to be developed among the students. Now the kind of process of integrating different subjects. What the teacher can do in order to integrate different subjects and develop the competencies. Make the students to arrange the pictures sequentially supplying the situational pictures to describe the story. Now the teacher can give them the pictures, sequential pictures and she can ask them to describe the story. Make the students to describe their feelings in the rainy season. The teacher can also ask the students to write, to describe how do they feel when it rains. Definitely we are looking at the competency like the different season and specifically rainy season. All right. And in this way, appropriate integration of EVS subject with other subjects is possible. Now we are going to have a look at some more competencies as far as the EVS subject is concerned. Differentiate between the groundwater and rainwater. Say the causes of water pollution and common diseases during rainy season. Now learners, I would like you to focus on that look at the one topic and what kind of different competencies a teacher has planned to develop among her students. And it is only for standard two. The teacher has looked at this particular one topic from various perspectives and that is why so many competencies she has planned for the students to be developed. And the process of integrating different subjects is what further or what more the teacher can do as far as bringing integration into the focus. She can ask some more questions to the students and those are Differentiate the quality of groundwater and rainwater. Discuss rainwater pollution and communication diseases or the common diseases we may talk about and many more such questions related to some other areas. Providing a stimulus situation to the students wherein they will definitely analyze and try to get the solutions, try to get the answers. In the bargain, yes, problem solving ability also is being developed as far as the students of standard two are concerned. Now let's have a look at the subject of mathematics. The topic remains the same, the story of Arui. The competencies to be developed are geometrical shapes of the crop fields, Majors, non-standard unit of water, that is container. And the process of integration will happen like the teacher is going to further probe the students by asking the following questions. Discuss on geometrical shapes relating to the crop fields. Discuss about the different majors of water, both standard and non-standard majors. Now look at it. The day-to-day -day experiences, the day-to-day -day life experiences of the students are also clubbed here as far as the integration is happening. The students are going to get the solution or get the answers to the problems or the competencies will be developed while they will be using their previous experiences, their day-to-day -day experiences which they experience on daily basis. Mathematics again. One more competency to be developed, subtraction through objects. Integration will happen by further questions. Draw freehand sketch of a map of different sizes of the crop fields. List different types of non-standard units found to be used in their locality. The students are going to explore their locality in order to list out the different types of non-standard units which are they are supposed to find out in their localities. That means the students are supposed to use their day-to-day -day experiences. So students, that was a beautiful example of how we can bring integration as far as the three subjects are concerned and the topic remains 
the same. But the topic remains the same, but we are looking at the topic from different perspectives. Now, let's have a look at the interdisciplinary integration that is between or among the different subject areas. Interdisciplinary integration is somewhat similar to multidisciplinary integration which we have seen in detail in the previous session. In multidisciplinary integration of some linkages of among different subjects are identified and connected for integrating planning. But in interdisciplinary integration of interdependent or common knowledge and skills from different subjects are identified and integration for planning and transaction purposes. Now learners, let's have a look at the steps which need to be followed for planning interdisciplinary integration. What we are supposed to do is that the topics, themes, issues or big ideas and learning outcomes are identified from more than one subject area. The common learning outcomes are identified as far as the different subject areas are concerned. Here we don't look for the learning outcomes related to the specific subjects. We are looking for the learning outcomes which are common as far as the different subject areas are concerned. Then only we can have an appropriate integration happening in the classroom. Next is that the knowledge and the skills are learned beyond the immediate lessons. That means we go beyond the immediate lessons because knowledge and skills are being looked into or are learned from the holistic point of view. So we don't focus on the immediate or the immediate content which is prescribed in the textbooks. We move a little beyond than that. The students are guided to acquire the curricular knowledge and skills through integrated approach of learning. Integration the teacher is bringing, but actual integration will happen only when the students are guided to acquire the curricular knowledge and skills through integrated approach of learning. When they are guided to look at one content, to look at one concept from different perspectives, unless and until the students are not guided, they will not try to look at the content from the different perspectives. So students are supposed to be guided by the teacher to look into the or to focus on the process of integration. Let's have a look at again one more example that how we can have numeracy skill, how we can bring integration into this particular skill and how the different subjects can be related, can be integrated or connected. So we have the main focus is the numeracy skills. In EVS, we can have the population, all right, where the numbers, the measurement of the population is going to be seen. The numbers are going to be used. We have the science where the topic motion can be taken up, where the numeracy skills can be used. We have the mathematics where the numbers and operations on numbers can be used. Specifically, the numeracy skill will be focused as far as this particular topic is concerned. We have some other subjects also where we can bring into integration and relate those subjects to the numeracy skills. For example, we have the language, the meter of a poem can be related. The rhythmic structure of the poem can be related to the numeracy skills. We have history where the timeline can be used and integrated as far as the numeracy skills are concerned. We have the geography where we can see the longitudes and latitude lines, all right, where the numbers are used. For example, we talk about the equatorial region which lies between the 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south of the equator. The numbers are being used over there. Learners, look at how the basic one focus theme is the numeracy skills, but how we can club so many subjects together and focus on the numeracy skill from the different perspectives. So we have the last one, the transdisciplinary integration, which goes beyond subject area. There are innumerable ways of integrating students' day-to-day -day experiences 
in building a holistic plan for their learning at different levels of schooling, like list of competencies, learning outcomes of each subject need to be ready with the teacher, plan the course holistic activities with regular intervals. The teacher also need to see that before the students join the events, list the skills, competencies, learning outcomes the students can acquire from the events. After the students come back, it is very essential for the teacher to see to it that there need to be a discussion with the students regarding the new experiences which they have experienced. So in brief, we can say that transdisciplinary integration helps in making learning more meaningful, realizing that school is not only for subject related information, the school is a real source of learning where learning happens from different perspectives. Acquiring more skills and competencies. It is also very clear that making learning more contextual and real life related. Strengthening the belief that learning is a continuous process, not confined to the confines of the school and curriculum. So learners, in this session, we have seen that how integration is possible clubbing many subjects together. We have seen many examples like how integration is possible in the subject of maths, EVS and science in standard two. We have seen different examples of integration as far as the three types of integration is concerned. Thank you.